Hi guys, my name is Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. It's Mermaid and I finally, after a number of weeks, have got my mermaid drawing finished and I'm so excited and I'm really sorry it took this long. I meant for this drawing to come out a bit sooner but I was really doubting the colors that I picked for it and you know eventually just got to say you know here we go you just have to, got to color it in and we'll go from there so that's what I've done I started out and I'm really happy with how it turned out and I started out with her obviously being underwater I made the flowy hair for that purpose and it turned out really nice like I really like the light blue that I've used in here and they came out well I do think that when I'm coloring in her tail it could use some work but I don't know if that is the color itself that was the problem or the actual marker or just that I need more practice <laughs> like either one of those any of those could be what I need to do but yeah I'm really happy with it I also really wanted to make it seem as if a beam of light was going through the water and that the mermaid and the fish were right in that beam of light. I wasn't quite sure how to manage this so what I just did I used three different colors of blue and I tried to blend those together a little bit to make it seem as if like the lightest bit was going through, not through the mermaid but like like the mermaid was in the lightest bit. And I also tried to experiment with putting down the color just a little bit differently. You can see me working in lines with like the lightest blue, but then with the medium blue, I use circular motions to put down the color to see if that would give me a more even base. I don't think it did. I think maybe I should keep working like cross hatching, but then with these colors, I don't know. I think. I did what I think was looking the best and it came out right. like I have no problems with the actual water itself. You can see the lines and I wanted like a shadow coming off her as well from the areas that are not directly in the light and you can see that on her and I put that on the fish as well and I tried to blend it out with like the lightest color as well. I just don't think I've blended it. Blended? <laughs> I just don't think I've done that enough so maybe that's another thing to work at or to practice like in all fairness a lot of things require practice I don't usually make backgrounds that often I stick with the actual character itself and color that in so backgrounds are something relatively new I think this is my second yeah I think this is my second background that I have really completed or like a f that I've made a full background so I'm not very experienced in doing that much work on a page now this is a5 so it's not like really big or anything but it's big enough that you have to think about what you're going to do with the background I think when you're making an artwork you need to take that into account regardless like especially the longer you're making art and making characters you want them to be in an environment you don't want them to be in front of a black or white background all the time you want to have something else going on as well and that is really what I wanted to do with this character I opted for a green skin color because I did not want her to look too human like she's a mermaid even though you have cartoons of mermaids and they might have natural skin colors in my head mermaids their skin color is just a bit different because they're not like us they're their own made up character little things and I did not want to give her normal ears so she's got like pointy ears as well I know it's more like elf kind of ears but I thought this really suited her character as well and I don't have a name for her I am not usually in the habit of naming my characters so that's not what I'm going for here either and I really thought the fish really complemented the piece as well so she's given something to look at and has a little body there on the water and the ocean 
and she's just there. They're just staring at each other. There's no real story behind there. I just saw they really was nice as well. I also tried to use colors that would complement each other as well. So I did not want to have colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. I actually have six color wheels printed out and they're like rotating as well so I can like pick colors that are complementing each other. And I might show them one day in a video. It's an idea I picked up from another YouTuber actually. But they work and it's really really handy and I didn't want to have colors that were too close to each other. Now I know like the green and the blue are right next to each other on the color wheel. But I wanted to include the orange which is like an opposite as well and purple is a bit further away too so I really wanted to have a bit of contrast in there as well so I think that works out quite well I'm not quite happy with how the tail came out and no matter what I did I tried to fix it I tried to go over it again and it just keeps looking patchy and I don't know why if you're using Kobe markers or any other kind of markers and have experienced the same thing let me know down below in the comments how you fixed it because that might actually be really helpful for me as well and for our eyes usually what I do is I fill it in with black fine liner to have the pupil of the eye but I did not want to have something as obvious as that I thought it would not suit this piece so I went for just using a darker green marker for like the pupil area and have the white highlights in there as well and I added on the skills tube on her skin I thought it would really complement her look and I'm really happy I did that I think without those skills it would feel like something was missing and with them it just finishes the piece just a bit more and for the hair and for her bra I'm using the same kind of purple just to make sure it's different than her tail color I did not want to have those the same color I wanted to have a difference there and I really like the brightness and it just helps the overall picture as well so it turned out quite nicely and again for like bigger areas I really was trying to not have like a patchy look to it and I really did my best to make sure that everything was looking quite nicely so I worked slower than I usually work and maybe that is the key to getting a kind of nice illustration but yes, I think that works and I'm really happy with the outcome of that. So that turned out quite well. I shade the hair as I usually do. I put in a medium color and I blend it with the light color. And then I put in a dark color and I blend it in with the medium color. And that way there's no obvious lines going on either. And for now I quite like how this looks I see other pieces and I totally understand how other people how other people's thought process works there I just don't think that with my style right now that works but this works so I'm quite happy with that and I also wanted to see if I could put in a bit of highlight along the edges of her hair where the light hits and you see that on like her bum as well that's where I tried to do it too just put a bit of the color of the water and like the light on there just to have it like reflect back and you'll see me at the end go over the edges of her hair to push away the purple color and more put in a bit of the blue color as well so it's a, ni a nice mix there and it really helps lightening those areas and I've already tried to make them a bit lighter because I took into account that I was going to do that I really wanted to do that from the start and I've tried to do that once before in another video and I can link that on the top there where I wanted to have the yellow backlight reflect a bit on like her skin and her dress and her hair and I really want to try and see if I can capture that look and it's tricky it really is and maybe I need to go to an art class and just get some 
extra information and extra practicing on how to do that and to see how other people do it because you shouldn't always rely on your own things it actually can help to see what other people do and you can get some tips and tricks from other people as well so that's really good and you don't have to take over their style it doesn't mean that you're taking over their style it means that you're trying to incorporate new techniques into your own current style trying to improve yourself which i think is really helpful too so I can use any advice I'm given and I'm really excited and this week I'm actually going to another art workshop here in the country as well just to see just to see if I can get some more tips and tricks from there and you know don't forget I really started this back up in December to have a goal in mind and my goal is to really get better in my art and you know who knows I might do commissions someday and that's a very exciting and a little bit scary idea because you don't know how other people are going to judge your art and aside from the comments below of course like you can definitely tell me but it's just very exciting So here we are guys, the end of the video already. This has gone by so fast and maybe I'm talking way too much in this video so apologies if you're not used to my usual talking because usually I give you a bit of moments with music but I really want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it and if you like this please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Thank you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye!